A true spectacle of Mother Nature, the outback blaze breathed life into the tornado. Earlier this week at the remote Curtin Springs station, about 300 kilometres southwest of Alice Springs, filmmaker Chris Tangy captured it all. It was a dance of giants in front of me. I've, I've never seen anything like it. It was awe-inspiring. Station hands had been battling the fire for almost a week, but for 40 minutes they stopped and marvelled. We saw um, you know, a red tornado, a black one, a white one, and then several made of pure fire. It was 50 metres uh, at its base of fire spinning with fire and it was actually picking up mulga trees. The Territory's bushfire service says an extended dry spell in the region helped set the stage for the spectacular show. 24th of April was our, our last rainfall event. And that, combined with a build-up of old growth, provided the perfect conditions. Roscoe Whelan, 7 News. Chris Tangy captured it all. It was a dance of giants in front of me. I, I've, I've never seen anything like it. It was awe-inspiring. Station hands had been battling the fire for almost a week, but for 40 minutes they stopped. A true spectacle of Mother Nature, the outback blaze breathed life into the tornado. Earlier this week at the remote Curtin Springs station, about 300 kilometres southwest of Alice Springs, filmmaking with fire and it was actually picking up mulga trees. The Territory's bushfire service says an extended dry spell in the region helped set the stage for the spectacular show. 24th of April was our, our last rainfall event. and marvelled. We saw um, you know, a red tornado, a black one, a white one and then several made of pure fire. It was 50 metres uh, at its base of fire spinning event and that combined with a build-up of old growth provided the perfect conditions. Roscoe Whelan, 7 News.